Stream is excited to introduce to you our free developer version that makes CDC and data streaming accessible to everyone. You can now be part of our community where we learn and experiment with data streaming use cases. In this demo, we will walk you through the sign-up process for our free developer version. Using our developer version, you can stream up to 10 million events every month between a variety of sources and targets in a few simple steps. You will sign up for Stream Developer using your referral code and email. Enter your name, source adapter, and target adapter in the sign-up form. For instance, let us choose Postgres SQL Change Data Capture as the source adapter and BigQuery Writer as the target adapter. Check the box relevant to your use case and sign up to receive an email with the next steps in your inbox. Check your inbox for an email from Stream Developer. In case you don't see the email, you may need to check your spam folder. Please whitelist the Stream server IP shared in the email in your database permission setting to give access to Stream. Once your sign-up process is complete, you will sign in using your username and password by going to developer.stream.com. You should land on the Stream Developer Welcome page where you can build your own streaming apps. Apps in Stream are data pipelines that help you stream data from various sources to targets. Next up, we will show you how to create your own app from scratch through Flow Designer by using one of our pre-configured wizards or by importing a TQL file. To build an app using Stream's Flow Designer, click on Apps from the top bar in your homepage. Next, click on Create App followed by the plus icon that says Start from Scratch. Give a name to your app and click Save. Here you can start by dragging a new component from the sidebar on the left. You can learn more about Stream components through our recipes and tutorials in the community page or in our technical documentation. To get a feel of Stream's flow design, get started by adding an auto-generating data source. You can click on a simple or an advanced source. For this demo, let's create a simple source. You will see two connected components on the screen. The source component is a continuous generator that auto-generates data non-stop. The data is then streamed to a continuous query that are SQL-like queries printing non-stop on real-time data. Next, deploy the app into an allocated deployment group and using the same drop-down menu click on Start App to run the data pipeline. Once the app starts streaming data, you can monitor the input and output rates on your screen. You can also preview your data by clicking on the eye icon next to the Stream component. With Stream's data pipeline monitoring, you can visualize your pipeline health, end-to-end -end data latency, and table-level metrics. Another way to create a Stream app is using a pre-configured wizard. On the search bar, enter your source and target and follow the next steps. Name your app and click Save at the bottom. Configure your source by filling in connection details. For Postgres initial load as source, we have entered the IP address or hostname, port, username, password, and database name. The connection is then validated. If the details are entered correctly, you would see green ticks that implies successful connection to the source. Choose your schema and tables that need to be replicated to a target. Once your source is configured, enter the target details. Here we will configure a Snowflake target. Enter the connection URL, username and password of your Snowflake instance. Stream helps you migrate your source schema to the target database before moving the data. Choose the schema migration option if you do not have target tables on the destination database. The wizard will then validate the target connection and create a replica of source schema in your target before moving the data. Stream's user interface is simple to navigate which provides easy monitoring and visualization of your data pipeline. Now we will walk you through app creation and deployment 
by importing TQL files. You can find sample TQL files on our community GitHub page. Click on Create App on your homepage, followed by Import TQL File under Build using Flow Designer. Select the TQL file from your local drive and enter your namespace. For all the TQL files downloaded from our GitHub page, the default passphrase is Stream Recipes. Once the app is created, you can modify your source and target endpoints before deploying and running your data pipeline. Once your app is deployed, start the data streaming pipeline to visualize data replication from source to target. When you reach 75% of your monthly event limit, you will be notified on your email. After the 10 million events have been consumed, your app will be stopped and you have read-only permission for the next 30 days, after which you will be credited with another 10 million events. If you do not utilize your monthly limit and remain inactive for more than 14 days, your account will be removed. Thanks for watching. You have now seen how to use our Stream Developer version and share your learnings with the community. Feel free to sign up for a free account by visiting signup-developer.stream.com. To learn more about our community, please visit our community page at community.stream.com.